Hey guys, Satya here. Today we'll discuss about uh, one of the concept uh, where uh, we need to clear a text box. So it, it's like uh, uh, there is an application whenever you go to a screen or whenever you go to a uh, page uh, in your project, uh, in your application, web application. So there will be one text box and uh, sometimes what happens, uh, uh, some default value or some user configured value will be populated by default right and before clicking on that you need to clear it out or otherwise what happens is sometimes in some application whenever the default value is present and uh, you, you just navigate to that page and start entering your values sometimes it gets appended that value right so it is it is uh, you know i mean important that you should uh, clear that value then you should uh, uh, enter your values uh, whatever your input for that text box right so here we'll discuss about uh, for now we'll be discussing about three approaches this one you would be aware if you are familiar with selenium that this is an inbuilt uh, no, sorry inbuilt inbuilt method for a web element object right <coughs> So there is a web element and for that web element uh, object there is already inbuilt a method that is clear directly if you call. Sometimes this method doesn't work. right? So another way we will we'll check today is backspace by using backspace. right? So what we exactly we will be doing is, uh, uh, so what happens is you go to that page then from that text box, right? so first you get the value what is present and once you get the value just calculate what is the length of that value and that many times use backspace easy right okay and and, and, and sometimes uh, if both both of these things uh, do not work then uh, you can go ahead with javascript right so uh, all these three will will see in, in a code right so uh, let's assume that you know you you are going to google.com and what we'll do is this is the a page okay so what will happen is <coughs> you, you type something right if the, so, uh, whenever you come to this screen um, uh, let's assume that this is your project and whenever this is a text box in your project and whenever you come to this uh, screen there is some by default uh, values present in that you need to clear it out so let's see this first one okay so i have one simple project here and what exactly I'm doing here is I'm just uh, no, setting this. Uh, it will just open browser, whatever you're setting the environment uh, property and it will just uh, maximize the browser. It will be using Chrome driver for now. And this is my test method where it will just, I'm just calling that method where it will open the browser. And uh, this is the google.com site it will open. For now, I'm just giving a static uh, wait time that is three minutes, sorry, three seconds and then we'll be using our code then <coughs> it will uh, close the browser so this is our main code now we'll be using this so what exactly we'll be using the clear now let's find out this clear will is is is, is present for a web element right <coughs> for a web element object right so let's go and find out this element first right so let's go here so this is the input so what we'll do is so mo most of the time the text box uh, where you know user can provide the value will be the input tags so this is input and anything else we can take by reference because input i see there are eight inputs here and here we can take uh, there is a name equal to q type equal to text and uh, title equal to search let's take this title equal to search we will provide this condition title equal to search okay so we are getting one element so we can take this <coughs> this is the xpath we'll be using so in this xpath it will get the web element now in this web element as, as i told you uh, this this is present for a web element object right so we got the web element object and then we'll be using clear method right so now let's run it 
so what it will exactly will do is it will open the google.com site and it will it will get the element it will clear it out so by default we know that whenever you open a google.com that value won't be there anything right the value will be blank in the text box will be blank so we'll run in debug mode and we'll manually will enter some values for now okay so what we'll do is the, the code will stop here and we'll enter some values then we'll see it is clearing or not that's fine before closing it i put a breakpoint here also before closing the browser we can see whether it is clear or not so let's run it right so it opened the browser right it opened the browser and now it will read the web element it will get the web element and it will try to clear it out because there is no values here we'll just write something i just wrote selenium fine now let's see it is clearing out or not i just ran it now it will try to close before that let's see okay it is already cleared right now it closed the browser also so this is one type okay second type is what we'll be using backspace okay so some some application if this clear doesn't work uh, because of because there are so many advanced technologies coming up so uh, if this clear doesn't work right because of any kind of restriction then we'll be using this backspace get existing so what exactly we'll be doing is now whatever the uh, so now uh, let's say i just entered selenium the text right so now it will so the same value will enter it will try to get that value existing value it will get the selenium then it will get the length of that selenium text whatever it is selenium right so it is i think 10 digits 10 10 characters and it will use 10 times backspace okay this is what we'll see now let's go to the code and uh, yeah so xpath will be same we will not be using this clear now what we'll be using is first we'll be using from this element we'll get the value what is the value we'll pass a get uh, i mean we'll get the attribute value and we'll get that we'll just store it in a value because this will attribute will be returning something it is written in string right and we'll store it in value now uh, as I told you, I'm, I, I'll enter this selenium, right? So there will be possibility that, you know, uh, yeah, we'll just handle it. Uh, so what we'll do is value not equal to null, then it will go and do. So what we'll do is, get the existing value we got it now we are checking because sometimes if it is null the value will be null and that time directly if you are if you are just getting the length and doing all this stuff it will give you null pointer exception so i just put a condition if it is not null then go ahead then uh, get the length then use backspace that many times so to use that let's use what we'll do is we'll get the length of this value value length equal to dot length okay so we got this value length now let's use that many times equal to zero i less than i less than the value length I plus plus okay sorry yeah so what we will do now is that many times for this web element that many times we will be sending send case right if you see here we will be using backspace but this backspace will be uh, uh, sending as a input so there is a <coughs> We'll be using this keys if you see here this keys has all this uh, what do you call this key uh, keys then the keyboard whatever the keys you have all this keys you have right you can see this is a enum and all this keys we can use it to send 
to send as uh, input so now here if you just type here you will get backspace okay <clears throat> so now what happens is we got the value we got the length of that value and that many times we are just iterating and sending backspace okay now let's let's run this code so it, now it will do the same thing it will open the browser it will get the element then before before getting this element we will type something and we will see whether it is clearing or not right now we are not using this clear method yeah so it is open right we will just type here selenium okay how many days 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 right now it is new selenium it's fine let's read this so let's read here let's see here value we got new selenium and we got length also 12 okay new selenium 12 now it will do uh, that many times backspace it will you you want to check we can check here okay it is done i just ran it and it did it okay to so let's let's run it and put a bigger uh, text so that we can see right one by one it is doing it so before okay let's just run it it will close the browser let's run again okay so what exactly we will do is this text right we'll just put here okay it's a bigger text now when you run it we can see it it, it will do one by one now let's see it. i i'll just give give a run and see the browser right you can see here right it it is cleared so because it is that many times it is pressing backspace now it will just run, uh, close the browser yeah so right so this is another approach right so we will be seeing another where so in 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 sometimes you know both the things uh, do not work then we can go ahead with javascript anyway and what we can do is in the javascript uh, we'll just set the value here what happens is you are getting the value right here what we'll do is we'll just set the value as blank that's all so whatever the existing value is there it will just set it to blank that's all, right so let's see this comment so another approach what i will be doing is uh, so to get the javascript object what i will do is javascript executor let's say the object name is here javascript executor so we'll convert this driver object to javascript executor and in the javascript executor we'll be using this method javascript um, execute uh, script right and here we'll be using arguments of zero we'll be using only one element uh, and in that argument zero what we'll be doing is okay before that this argument zero is nothing but our web element okay this is the web element this is the argument zero the first element and the only one element we have and here exactly we'll be doing is uh, value equal to blank will put okay so what exactly will do is this this argument zero is nothing but this web element okay for this web element whatever the value right for that value will be uh, making the existing value as blank so this is nothing but indirectly we are just clearing that out okay so this is what we will do now here let's run it and see was it running or not okay yeah let's run it okay sorry 
I have missed here on semicolon. Yeah, let's run it. I'm running in debug mode so that we can enter some values. Right, so it ran here. Now let's just run your selenium, put some selenium. Now I just run it. Right, it cleared. Right, then it will close the browser. Okay, so <clears throat> that is what all about. So different ways to clear a text box. So I mean, you can go ahead with this one. It is easier to use it, but uh, in case it doesn't work, then you can go ahead to go ahead with uh, an alternate uh, uh, solution. So, yeah. So that's all for uh, this video. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, see you in the next video.